as you can see, uh, there's quite a lot to fit in, so that's the first challenge. We are heading up in a fuel crisis as well, so the worrying thing is if we're going to get up there and A, be stuck, or even get up there at all if the motorway service stations don't have any fuel. First problem, though, is fitting all of my clothes into this small yes, boot. Mostly hair clothes. <laughs> Very few more. Shall um, we show everybody Mini Peggy? Yeah, Mini Peggy. Mini Peggy. She needs a black bonnet and a big, big wing on the back. She so. comes everywhere with us. Apparently, this is going to fit in no problem. Oh, it means I can pack some more clothes. Oh, God, no. So we're up for two weeks, um, we're spending a few days in Edinburgh, which is going to be our first stop today. That should be about an eight hour drive without stops. Oh yeah, that, that'll close. Really? Because yeah. I was looking like it's going to show. Well, if we do a swap and I have, what's it hitting on? <laughs> I don't know. My um, water bottle? What if I had that in the front with me? Well, that doesn't look shut. Yeah, that's shut. Really? Well, it doesn't yeah. look shut. Look. It's, um... Look, there's a massive gap. Oh, yeah. There's flex. Okay. I... Um, that's probably not going to work. Um, no. We might have to time-lapse this a little bit. Why, why have we got rocket? Get bag of rocket so you can snack on it. You have to wash that first. It's oh, pretty well. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> I guess that's, yeah, that's slightly better than that. Go back there. Take two. I reckon that's... No, no, look. We haven't broken the boot, have we? Yeah, there's panel gaps everywhere. Okay. Right. I mean, I don't know where I'm going to sit. <laughs> you ready for a comfortable ride? Mm, yeah. I think my face is just going to be squished up against the window. Um. Eventually, we got the rest of the stuff in the car. And we were on our way. The drive up was a long one, and we won't bore you with too much of a montage. We did see another yellow S2000 though, and you got pretty excited. Yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? Mm, yeah. But eventually, we made it up to Scotland, and to our Airbnb for a few nights. We made it! <sighs> what a long drive. It was about eight hours or so. Mm. Yeah, it felt longer. I like we seeing that other yellow, yellow Peggy clone. Yeah. Um, but we made it to our Airbnb. It's on the north, um, it's on the coast of, uh, north coast of Edinburgh. We'll put the link in the description. Um, but without further ado, I think we're going to... Pizza time. Amazing things in my hair. It's like a L'Oreal advert. <laughs> work it, baby, work it. So this is day one, as such, of our Edinburgh trip. Our first kind of stay in, well, for my first stay in Edinburgh. You've been before, oh, haven't I've you? I've been before, but never to this bit. Yeah, this is kind of northern outskirts. Um, just down the coast from Leith, which is quite well known. Claire spotted a shell. Um, yeah, it's nice, it's quiet. Well, we didn't think we'd see as many people today, but it's, um, yeah, it's a nice... It's nice there. Nice little, nice little place. We're at Cramond Beach, which is a couple of minutes walk from where we're staying. Um, it's an ideal location, really. We were going to cross over to the island, um, but the tide is in, and the safest time to do it is quarter to four. So we're going to do that later. We're going to go off and explore down the beach. I heard there's a good cafe down there, so that's where we're Ooh. heading for lunch. Lunch. 
just on a hunt for some sea glass for some oh there's a bit for some pebble art that we do uh what is sea glass very good question it is bits of glass that have just washed up in the sea so it makes them nice and smooth and you get it in all different colors kind of oh there's a bit friction, yeah it's quite pretty aren't they they are very pretty so i also picked up a shell as well yeah nice but we will hunt for some more so keep your eyes open so i guess green sea glasses kind of bottles and that sort of thing from a it? green bottle you yeah. get it in brown some blues but it's quite difficult to spot so i'm quite glad i found these two bits hopefully i can find some more It's not going to focus, is it? Found my first bit, you'll have to take my word for it. There we go. So that's me, Don. I'm going to go and get some lunch. Oh, just leave me here then, why don't you? Mine's not as nice as yours. Oh, keep looking like you missed a little, bro. A little tiny green bit. Mum is going to be so pleased with all of this sea glass. Because when I say we make pebble art, I actually she mean does. my mum yeah. makes the pebble art. Oh, and a green bit. Jesus. Jesus! That's my collection, look at that. <laughs> okay, hang on, I'm sending a picture to you. She's going to be really delighted with the extra work that you're giving her. She really is, yeah. She says, only smooth, please, Claire. Is she being picky about the sea glass that we're finding her? She is. Sure. Yeah. She can't Some get people. a staff these days. Mm. in a minute, I promise. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I found a yellow bit. Really? Yeah. You'd like this bit. It's the most exciting thing that's happened all day. Yellow. Oh. So it's not just a stone? I'm not sure. Nah. If it is just a stone, it's a nice stone. Okay, right. Let's gradually head up to the cafe. Emphasis on the word gradually. Yeah, exactly. Still, keep your eyes out. Yeah. Uh, tend to spend all our time at beaches looking down. If it's not sea glass collecting or um, driftwood, then it's picking up plastic. This beach seems quite clean, which is good. So we're focusing on sea glass. Wow, what a load of sea glass. I don't think I've ever seen quite as much on one beach. Comment down below if you'd like to see what we make all of this into. Oh, nice. So we just walked across the Crammond Causeway to the island. Yeah. Um, a few oyster catchers which caught your eye. Yeah. So it took a little bit longer than we thought it would. I to think walk it's over. meant to be about a 15 minute walk. It probably took us about half an hour. It's, I think it's exactly a mile. Um, obviously only accessible when the tide is out, so we've had to wait until quarter to four. Yeah. Uh, sunset's about six, so we haven't got particularly long to, to go and explore, but we'll probably just head around this little have bit a, of the island. Have a little nosy that around. looks quite cool. Yeah, thank you for watching. This has been our first part of our Scotland adventure. Uh, obviously, you've seen us pack the car, do a bit of driving, 
and arrive here in Edinburgh. And sea glass search. Yes, yep, forgot about that. <laughs> Which that took up most of the day. <laughs> yeah, we got a, a massive bag full of um, Seaglass, which is great. Keep me busy. So tomorrow we're going to head into the, into the city centre, uh, hopefully take in the Royal Botanic Gardens and just see what we get up to there. Yeah. So join us for our next episode, coming soon on our YouTube channel. Do subscribe, turn on notifications and comment down below if you've enjoyed this video, if you want to see anything else from us. <laughs> see you Bye. later.